Hi, this is Sven at Manticore Arms, and today I'm doing a review of the SKD Tactical Pig Brigantine uh, Plate Carrier. Uh, what we have here, it's a basic two-panel carrier, uh, just a front panel and a rear panel. This one's in multicam, and it works like most plate carriers where the plate goes in the underside. Uh, other general configuration of this is obviously you've got a full Velcro uh, front face. It's printed in multicam. You can see there's some sewing and some slots here. My understanding is that's going to be for a future uh, chest rig attachment. The cummerbund is uh, elastic based. It's a double layer of elastic here. You can see it and uh, gives you some stretch so when the, the uh, plate carrier is on you, you've got some room to breathe when you're moving. And then the straps just attached with Velcro, which attach to the face. Um, they're Velcro on both sides, so as you can see, they overlap and uh, give you some room, so a lot of adjustment room for uh, large people or small. Uh, and these straps are pretty much the same. They're Velcro. They attach to themselves and loop through a uh, plastic fitting on the back panel. The other feature is that the panels on the interior have some velcro and this is for the uh, accessory pontoons to help give a little more padding for the plate. As you can see some plate carriers have some padding in the back panel. This one is simply a layer of nylon. So what we have, uh, the main reason I'm doing the review here is there were some questions if the TAP Gamma plates would fit in this carrier uh, as it was designed for the BAE systems plates and as you can see um, the BAE system plates are what they call a shoehorn fit, which is you really got to push it and it's pretty snug to uh, fit in the carrier. You can see around the uh, border here that the TAP Gamma has room to fit and actually has a, a little bit extra room. You might want to put some padding or uh, maybe a foam pad or some styrofoam to help hold it in place just a little bit more snug. Um, so you can see it goes in there. You've got just a little bit of room and this lower flap goes in, holds it in place. So you can see there's a little bit of overlap there, but there is enough Velcro to hold it in place and it doesn't move around too much. It's got just a tiny bit of room on either side. Uh, it's secure enough, I'd say you're probably okay without padding if, if really need be. Uh, overall, I've tried it on, uh, used it a bit, and uh, generally I like it. The uh, One of the features I like is that the straps actually attach to the back here um, you can see right here where most plate carriers the strap attaches to the front and what I found at least when I'm shooting uh, with the plate carrier on is that when that straps attached to the front it kind of is suspended uh, when it gets back to your shoulder so when you're pressing on it a lot of times the rifle will slide off the uh, strap and by attaching it to the back there it really helps uh, keep the rifle uh, shoulder properly um, in addition to getting this carrier, which is a, a um, medium carrier with the medium tap gamma plate in it, um, I asked SKD if they could send me a small panel just to test a small uh, tap gamma plate. So what we've got right here is you can see the, the size difference. It's about, oh, I'd say an inch, um, an inch narrower and probably an inch shorter. Um, so we'll take this out of the way. So you've got your, your small panel here. This is the front panel, and you can see the, the strap configuration that's common on all of them. The spacing actually seems to be uh, the same on the straps for the medium and the small, and we'll get to that in just a second. But here you have the small tap gamma plate, and as you can see, uh, it just swims in there. It's uh, you know probably got three quarters of an inch on either side and a good inch and a quarter to an inch and a half on the bottom. Um, I can slide it in there, but literally it just swims around in there, and you could put some padding in there to hold it in place, um, but generally I would say it, it doesn't really fit. Um, you could make it work if you had to, uh, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, really, my only complaint with this plate carrier is uh, I found with some plate carriers, the shoulder straps uh, really can make a difference one way or another, and I found with this one, because the straps are just kind of, you know, it's a thin piece of strap with some Velcro and kind of a sharp edge on it. Um, 
lot of times I like plate carriers where the straps ride a little farther to the left and the right to give you a little more shoulder room um, so it's not rubbing on the sides of your neck. And this one I found rubbed on my neck a little bit. Um, you know, it's not a deal breaker by any means, but um, just as a general comfort, you know, if you're going to wear it for six or eight hours, you might end up with some, some redness or some rubbing or chafing on the neck. Um, everybody else I know who's used this plate carrier actually hasn't had any issue with it, and uh, I'm probably the exception to the rule on that. I'm liking the straps to be a little bit wider. Uh, that's my review on the SKD Tactical Pig Brigantine Plate Carrier, and thank you for watching.